Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to talk about a vegetable that is both delicious and nutritious, broccoli. Broccoli is a member of the cabbage family and is known for its high levels of vitamins and minerals. It is also easy to grow and can be planted in a variety of climates. So, without further ado, let's dive into the world of broccoli and learn how to grow it in your own garden. Firstly, let's talk about the different types of broccoli. There are two main types of broccoli, heading broccoli and sprouting broccoli. Heading broccoli is the type that most people are familiar with. It produces large, firm heads that are harvested before the flowers bloom. Sprouting broccoli, on the other hand, produces smaller heads and continues to produce new shoots even after the first harvest. Now, let's talk about how to grow broccoli. Firstly, broccoli prefers cooler weather and can be planted in both the spring and fall. In warmer climates, it is best to plant broccoli in the fall to avoid the heat of the summer. Broccoli prefers well-drained soil with a pH level of 6.0 to 7.0. It also requires full sun exposure, so choose a location that receives at least 6 hours of sunlight per day. Before planting prepare the soil by adding organic matter such as compost or aged manure. This will help improve the soil structure and provide nutrients for the broccoli plants. Broccoli can be grown from either seeds or transplants. If you choose to start with seeds, plant them indoors 6 to 8 weeks before the last frost date in your area. When the seedlings have grown to about 4 inches tall, transplant them into your garden. If you choose to use transplants, plant them directly in the garden after the last frost date. When planting broccoli, space the plants about 18 to 24 inches apart. This will give them enough room to grow and spread out. Water the plants thoroughly after planting to help them establish roots. Now, let's talk about how to care for broccoli plants. Firstly, broccoli requires consistent watering to ensure healthy growth. Water the plants regularly, especially during dry spells. Avoid getting water on the leaves, as this can encourage fungal growth. Broccoli plants also require fertilization throughout the growing season. Use a balanced fertilizer with equal amounts of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Apply the fertilizer every four to six weeks, following the package instructions for dosage. If you're enjoying our farming content, we would really appreciate your support. By leaving a like, comment, and subscribing to our channel, you'll help us to reach more people who are interested in learning about sustainable agriculture and the latest farming techniques. We are committed to producing more high-quality content like this, and with your help, we can continue to grow our community and share our passion for farming with even more people. So, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you think about our channel. Thank you for your support. To keep the soil moist and prevent weeds from growing, mulch around the base of the broccoli plants. This will also help regulate the soil temperature and keep it cool during hot weather. Now, let's talk about how to harvest broccoli. The heads of the broccoli should be harvested before the flowers bloom. This is when they are the most tender and flavorful. To harvest the heads, cut them off the stalk with a sharp knife. Be sure to leave some of the plant behind so that it can continue to produce new shoots. If you are growing sprouting broccoli, the heads can be harvested continuously throughout the growing season. Simply cut the stems with a sharp knife when the heads are ready. Finally, let's talk about some common problems that you may encounter when growing broccoli. One of the most common problems is pest infestation. Broccoli is susceptible to pests such as aphids, caterpillars, and flea beetles. To prevent pest infestation, use insecticidal soap or neem oil. You can also use physical barriers such as row covers to protect the plants. Another common problem is fungal disease. Broccoli is susceptible to fungal diseases such as powdery mildew and black rot. To prevent fungal disease, avoid watering the leaves and keep the soil well, drained, Remove any infected plants immediately to prevent the spread of the disease. In addition, broccoli can also be affected by nutrient deficiencies, such as a lack of calcium or boron. This can cause issues such as stunted growth and poor head formation. To prevent nutrient deficiencies, use a balanced fertilizer and consider adding a calcium supplement to the soil. It's also important to rotate your broccoli crop every year to prevent soil-borne diseases from building up in the soil. Avoid planting broccoli in the same spot for more than two years in a row. Now that you know how to grow and care for broccoli, let's talk about some delicious ways to prepare it. 
broccoli can be steamed, roasted, sautéed, or even grilled. It's a versatile vegetable that pairs well with a variety of flavors and ingredients. One of my favorite ways to prepare broccoli is to roast it with garlic and lemon. Simply toss broccoli florets with minced garlic, lemon juice, and olive oil. Spread them out on a baking sheet and roast in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes, or until tender and slightly browned. Broccoli can also be used in soups, stews, and stir-fries. It's a great addition to pasta dishes and can even be used as a pizza topping. In addition to its delicious taste, broccoli is also incredibly nutritious. It's high in vitamins A, C, and K, as well as folate and fiber. It's also a good source of calcium, potassium and iron. So, there you have it a detailed guide to growing and caring for broccoli. With a little bit of time and effort, you can enjoy the delicious and nutritious benefits of this versatile vegetable. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more gardening tips and tricks.